Students at the Wits University have been protesting this past week for decent funding and accommodation. The Wits SRC president, Apiwe Mnyamana, was suspended in the process and is possibly facing charges of interrupting lectures and damage to property. The student leadership held meetings this weekend. So what is the way forward? To speak to us on this, I'm now joined by the Wits SRC president, Apiwe. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Uh, maybe just tell us there were some some kind of meetings or talks this past weekend. Were you in those talks? Do you know if there was any mm. kind of conclusion? Yes, there were talks this weekend and there were talks during the course of the week. But the issue, what we are asking for as the VET SRC, we are asking for students to be accommodated. We are asking for students who are eligible to register to be accommodated for the year 2023. And now what has happened by VET management, I think on Wednesday, when the SRC decided to cease fire, is because I personally went to the Dean of Students Affairs and I said, students are suffering. And can we have a mediation between us as an SRC and you as Vets University? And the Dean did say, yes, we'll have that mediation. That mediation. But for that to happen, the Vice Chancellor requires, he mandates us that there must be a cease fire. Hence the SRC said, we will cease fire so that the university allows us the chance to speak. But from their side, there's not been, the, the university did not cease fire. Because one of the demands for ceasefire, we said, all SRC members, including those who are suspended, must be at the negotiating table. Mm. And even today, the university is not prepared to have mediation with all SRC members. So that's, that's one of our demands as an SRC. So after Wednesday, what actually happened? Were there not supposed to be talks this what happened? Week? What happened is that I told SRC members, those who are not suspended, they must go to the meeting and they must tell the vice chancellor that the meeting cannot proceed without SRC members who are suspended. Mm. And we once had a meeting, we were speaking on precedence, where two SRC members were suspended, but they were allowed to enter campus for, the, for progress sake. And we did say to university management, that has happened before, it is precedence. We want to negotiate. So if you are negotiating in good faith, then allow these people, we must leave the suspension, at least for the negotiation to happen. But the university is not prepared to do that. So they did not allow you into any of They did not meetings. allow me to any of those meetings. Mm -hmm. And they so did not allow any SRC members who suspended to any of those meetings. But did those talks continue without you? The talks could not continue mm -hmm. because the SRC who was present was mandated by the, the entire student populace to say for the talks to continue, we need the president to be there. We need all SRC members who are suspended to be there. So the talks have halted because the university does not want to meet the SRC. So what happens now? What happens come tomorrow? Because, you know, the university did ask for a ceasefire. Uh, we haven't been seeing much protest uh, this past week. But what happens come tomorrow? Because they're clearly not sticking to the demands that you have put on the table to negotiate and have a conversation. What we are realizing now as student leaders is that the, the university is negotiating in paid faith. Mm -hmm. Because the, for ceasefire to happen, you must then also from your side as the university ceasefire lift the pens so that there can be negotiation. That's what we are asking for. And the university is not prepared to do that. Right now as an SRC, we are paving the way forward. We are saying we will continue to have the protest peacefully up until the university replies to our demands. We have sent a letter from our lawyers and we have given them date and time. The letter that we have sent to ENS, which VITS uses to to engage us legally, we told them that tomorrow at five o'clock, we and our lawyers will be ready for mediation. We are waiting for a response to VET from VETS. And if VETS is not ready to meet us tomorrow, even on Tuesday, we are ready to meet VETS. Us as an SRC and our lawyers are ready to negotiate. But our, our demands still remain the same. They must lift up suspension of all SRC members. When we enter the negotiating table, all SRC members must be there. If that is not met, then the protest will continue. We have workers who are protesting on campus and students will continue to protest peacefully up until VETS meets these demands. We have ceasefire. They must also ceasefire on their side. They must not come to the media and then send a false narrative. 
So, so what happens come tomorrow? Because you're saying you've given them a time frame for tomorrow, 5 o'clock. You say uh, uh, protests are going to continue peacefully. What, what does that actually mean practically? Will people be on campus uh, protesting uh, or outside campus? What, what, does mean what that means, it means that there will be no class on campus up until Vets University allows us allows the meeting. There will be no class online up until VET University allows for the meeting to happen because VET has pushed students to go online. And during COVID, while we had online classes, we had data being provided. Now they've pushed these students to attend online. And these students do not even have the data to attend mm -hmm. these, these, these lectures. Even the lectures themselves have complained to say that we cannot have online classes, I as a physics teacher cannot continue to teach these students online. So VET has been arrogant to say they are not going to meet the SRC. So as an SRC, we will then equally respond to that arrogance to continue to protest up until there is, up until VET University agrees for mediation to happen. We as an SRC, we have seen by us seizing fire, it was us telling VET University, we are prepared to engage you. But Vets University is not prepared to engage us. Instead, Vets University is sending a false narrative to students and to staff workers to saying SRC is being arrogant. We are not arrogant. We are ready to meet. If the Vice Chancellor can call me tonight and say, Akfuem Nyamana, come with the entire SRC, let us speak, I will answer that call and I will go to that meeting. So what happens if they don't want to engage with you? What happens if they don't lift the suspension? I know you keep using the word, we're going to protest peacefully. What, yes. what, what happens if they refuse to lift your suspension and other SRC members and just engage with those that have not been suspended? Those, have been, those the SRC members who are not as suspended, they, they do not represent themselves, but they represent the narrative of the entire mm -hmm. SRC. The SRC met and they've resolved that there won't be any further meetings with management up until all members are included in that meeting. So, so there's there will, no way there will, be, there will be no meeting with the SRC up until all these demands are met. Okay, so it's yourself and who else has been suspended? It's myself, it's Solami Butelezi, it's Lisa Sibata from the SRC, and we also have five other students who were suspended. And as, as we have said before, Vets University, instead of them meeting with students, they use this suspension to intimidate us. When I was suspended, I was suspended on Monday while I was summoned by the Premier, by the Chair of NFSAS, by Buti Manamila to say, we are ready to discuss your issues. But Vets University continued to suspend me while we had stakeholders from the department who were ready to engage the Vice Chancellor. The Vice Chancellor did not pitch on the meeting. He said the meeting must be the next day, which was Tuesday. And on Tuesday, the Premier called me and said the Vice Chancellor declined the meeting. So the Vice Chancellor doesn't want to engage us, but what they are doing, they want to use student voice, student protest as a way to to, to call us criminals or they're, they're trying to criminalize student protest. Mm. That is what Mamukheti Parking was speaking about when he said he will never call, while he was VC, he will never call police on campus. We don't want police, we don't enjoy protesting, but we need our concerns to be heard. And the university is not prepared to hear our concern. Instead, the university sends a strong message that says we will employ police on campus, we will employ private security. That private security, they are carrying tear cases. We have a member of the S right now, Rifumo Sitole, who has been hospitalized for one week because of lung infection. Lung infection which is caused by those paper spray from those bouncers. Uh, Apiwa, what, what, what happens to you now? Because you're possibly facing charges of interrupting lectures and damage to property. And uh, Vitz has not, um, you know, they've been very vocal about saying that you are at the forefront of possibly inciting violence. We are not inciting any violence. Vets is inciting violence by bringing police. Vets is inciting violence by bringing private securities which is un who are undocumented. So what happens with me? I was suspended without any hearing. Vets sent me a suspension notice and I told Vets University I won't be able to attend that hearing because I'm still seeking legal guidance, but they proceeded to suspend me without any trial. Mm. So Vets University has abused my right to say I'm not able to, 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 be, to, to present my case today, postpone the trial to tomorrow so that I can come with my lawyer. They said, no, we'll suspend you either way. So I am prepared, me and my lawyers are prepared to interdict that suspension. We are still waiting for Vets University to come to the table 
and mediate. If faith wants to pursue those churches, I will also pursue the churches which we have against faith university in court. We are ready for that. Okay. Just lastly, Apiwe, come tomorrow. You've given bits till five o'clock to engage with uh, SRC legal team and um, VITS legal team, uh, but in the meantime, protests peacefully continue. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow we can expect some kind of protest outside VITS, inside VITS. Yes. And anything else we should expect? Nothing will continue as normal. There is something wrong at VITS University. Mm -hmm. We have workers who are protesting. We have students who are protesting. But instead of VITS management, hearing those concerns, because what we are calling for here, we do not enjoy protest. I do not have a place to sleep because of protest. We have to sleep on campus. You have to protest is very draining from, from, both, from both university management and from student leadership. But the reason for protest is that we are being ignored as student leaders. We are being silenced as student leaders. We are being criminalized as student leaders. We want our concerns to be heard. Okay. Thank you so much for coming through and we'll definitely be checking in with you tomorrow as to whether or not Vitz uh, rocks up to that meeting that has been asked by SRC um, legal team uh, to meet with Vitz uh, legal team. We'll definitely be checking in on that. That was suspended Vitz SRC president Apiwe Mnyamana. Now,